The audit committee plays an important role in the bank's governance structure. The audit committee ensures that the internal controls of the bank are operating functionally, which then allows investors, shareholders, and other outside stakeholders to rely on the financial reports that management is producing. The audit committee is critical to an organization. They oversee many aspects, such as financial reporting, internal and external audit, the company's risks, and also some of the day-to-day -day transactions within the company. Specific to audit, the board's role does differ from that of management. The board's role in the audit is to oversee the internal controls and the financial reporting, as well as monitor risk within the bank. Management's role is to oversee the day-to-day -day operational activities within the bank. While both need to understand the internal controls within the organization, management actively participates in those functions where the board oversees such activities. The audit committee is a subcommittee appointed to the board. The audit committee should report routinely to the board. At a minimum, reporting should be quarterly, but it would be a best practice for that reporting to be monthly. The reporting to the board from the audit committee is usually done by the audit committee chair. The audit committee's role in the financial reporting process is to read and understand all financial reports generated and distributed by management. For private entities, that can include reading the annual reporting package at the end of the year. For public companies, that could include things such as reading the SEC filings like Form 10-K as well as the press releases. Not only is it to review the financial reporting package, but it also includes understanding the internal controls that have functioned surrounding the preparation of those financial statements. An external audit is an examination of the bank's books and records. The result of the external audit is an audit opinion from a CPA firm that states, your financial statements are prepared and are presented with reasonable but not absolute assurance that they are free from material misstatement. The CPA firm, in coordination with the audit committee, as well as working with the internal auditor, will perform the external audit after year end by looking at transactions and records within the bank. The audit committee will ensure that those financial statements prepared by management are free from material misstatement. The internal audit function within a bank is to ensure that the internal controls are properly functioning in the bank. The internal audit department is independent of management, therefore they are not performing any of the controls within the bank, meaning that they can objectively and independently assess the quality of the work being performed in the bank. The internal audit function could be within the bank, normally ran by a chief audit executive and a number of staff to help assist the audit executive. It could also be outsourced to a CPA firm to perform the internal audit function. The audit committee oversees the function of the internal auditor, whether it be a group of individuals inside of the bank or a group hired externally to perform internal audit functions. The audit committee should review the internal audit scope and ensure that it addresses the risk within the organization. They should also review the work of the internal auditor, as well as the expertise and qualifications of the internal auditor. A good audit committee member, first off, is very professional. It's also someone who is very curious. They do not mind leaning in and asking the hard questions of management. It is part of the audit committee's responsibility. You do not have to be a financial expert to be on the audit committee. In fact, a diverse mindset is a good attribute of an audit committee member. It is helpful to have some general knowledge of the institution or the industry in which you'll be working with.